it's really no surprise when I say that GPS functionality and inclusion is becoming as important to snowmobile buyers as it is to car and truck buyers. Now, if your sled didn't come with a preferred GPS gauge already installed from the factory, there's a high likelihood that you can buy it and install it into your current ride without having to trade that sled back in. And to prove that it can be done, I've gone ahead and ordered all the necessary parts to make it work through my Polaris dealer. I've got the 7S display, a mounting kit, as well as some hardware to harness it up to my sled. Now, when it comes to changing a head unit on an automotive vehicle, there's wiring involved and it can get pretty interesting. But with this being a Polaris sled and a Polaris display system, we have everything we need to make it happen, plug and play. If you're looking to do this upgrade, the display and harness needed runs around $1,850 Canadian and $1,450 US. So don't feel too worried about tackling this yourself at home should you be interested in doing an upgrade yourself. Now let's get into the nitty gritty on this brand new 2024 Polaris Indy SP650. Taking off the side panel and hood gives us access to the hood removed from the sled. I pop out the headlight, take a few screws out that secure the top pod to the hood and flip it over to reveal the top pod removal. At this point, I'm gonna take out the storage door and stock display. There's a location already marked for the GPS antenna to stick onto, so I'll go ahead and secure that. Now on the one side of the top pod is another cool piece of tech that you probably didn't even know was there on a 7S equipped vehicle. It's this little spot we pop out a dust cover and drop in the V2V antenna so the 7S can talk to other sleds nearby. So from here, it's pretty straightforward. So we drop the 7S display into the front panel that already has the cutout for the display. It even has the pre-drilled holes for the fasteners to keep the display inside of the cover. I mean, it can't get simpler. I'm gonna go ahead and attach all the necessary cables to the back of the screen, as well as route the USB cable through the supplied fasteners. There's also a cool Easter egg on the back of this wire plate that's pretty neat with the stars and the Polaris logo. At this point, I drop the assembly door into the hood pod, connect a few wires, and then go ahead and put the hood pod back onto the hood assembly and rebuild the hood and headlight and drop it back into the sled. The wire harness matches up perfectly to the stock connector under the hood, so you're ready to reassemble and plug and play this new hardware. I button back on the hood and side panels and we are ready to rock. So why would you want to make this upgrade on a non-7S sled? Well, for those of you who've never used a 7S display, I'm going to explain this just a bit further. With built-in maps and dedicated GPS tracking with no cell device required, it's the only true GPS display in the industry. Polaris also has a relationship with almost all of the North American Snowmobile Federations, so you have up-to-date mapping. Having the GPS at the heads-up eye level gives you a smooth transition between your map and the trail and the integrated options like waypoints, points of interest, restaurants, gas stations and lodging are all invaluable. The group ride features are second to none and thanks to the V2V antenna we installed, we can see our friends who also have the 7S display installed or the Ride Command app on their phones. We can label other riders and then touch on the screen to show us where that rider is in relation to us, how fast they're going or if they're stopped allowing us to keep track of our entire ride group right on screen. The 7S also allows us to send basic messages between sleds to let others know if we need assistance. On top of the obvious GPS features, the 7S also is home to multiple screen widgets that allow us to customize home screen displays, set up to our liking, access features like smart warmer settings, and even live vehicle diagnostics to show us if any error codes exist and the critical level of those codes. Because the 7S is Bluetooth ready, you can also link your phone to see live alerts when getting a text message or phone call. Now, there really is a lot to love about the 7S display out on the trail. And yes, I have had a lot of people tell me I don't want more technology when I'm out riding. But once you've had the chance to use a 7S display, you're gonna understand why you never want a snowmobile without one. And don't forget, when it comes to resale and therefore demand of a 7S equipped snowmobile, it is much greater than the non-equipped counterparts.